Hey everybody, Chris Linton here, and today we're very blessed to have with us uh, Dom Thorpe from all the way at the opposite end of the globe. Dom Thorpe, how are you, buddy? I'm good. How's it going? Yeah, really good, really good. Dom is uh, based in the UK. Obviously, I'm here in Sydney, Australia. And uh, Dom, I guess first and foremost, thanks for your time this morning. Um, for those or for those people who are dialing in and may not have heard of your story. Um, can you maybe give us a little bit of a detail about uh, yourself, your background, uh, your journey, and, and um, I guess any results to date? Yeah, cool. So uh, <clears throat> I've been doing fitness for uh, about a lot of years, 12 years now nearly. Uh, so I started off as a face-to-face -face trainer, but with a, a bit of a focus on disability. So I would... I mean, there weren't that many disabled people near me. So what would happen was I'd be training a lot of sort of able-bodied clients, but I would get disability leads through. Uh, and I'd done that, uh, as I said, for the past 12 years or so. And uh, thrown in various other attempts at different businesses uh, to try and expand and grow ever since then. Uh, but uh, still kind of stuck with it for a long time, really. And... and, and didn't really see much change and after about sort of 10 years I was like I was 10 years down the line and I'm still earning what I was earning 10 years ago something needs to change uh, so I tried to launch an online product which was sort of a good product in my mind but it was a cheap program and I've been selling that to people that I knew and everybody that did it got great results or whatever. But and I tried pumping some Facebook ads as well. But part of the product was I required people to give me a thousand pound deposit. And I said, lose 10 pounds in 30 days. And if you do, you get the deposit back. But if you don't, you lose a portion of your deposit, depending on how much weight you actually lose. And trying to convince somebody that you don't know to give you a thousand pounds with no social proof was proving difficult. So Although people I knew were doing the program, I couldn't get anyone I didn't know to do it. And then uh, my buddy Matt all of a sudden launched his online product and, uh, and he started killing it. And I was, I was like, dude, how are you making so much money? And he was like, oh, I'm charging 500 pounds for, uh, for just a program and weekly course. And I was like, people won't pay that. And he was like, well, they are. <laughs> and I was like, no. Oh. And so I saw him grow his business, and and eventually he told me uh, he told me I'm doing this thing called Tribe Fit. Uh, he didn't he didn't say it like that actually. What he said was, you know that thing we spoke about in December, uh, and I was like, yeah. And he said, and you told me not to do it, <laughs> and I was like, yeah. He said, uh, I've been doing that, and that's why I'm making the money. And I was like, oh right. Well, I kind of said I eat my hat, and so then as a result of that. Eventually, I thought, right now, I need to I need to jump on this bandwagon. So, hired you, launched uh, disability specific training programs, and that was about a year ago. At one, no, not not even nine months or so ago. And uh, since then, it's gone like I've pretty much stopped needing, or I won't be renewing any more clients. So by the end of the year, and we're in uh, mid October now. By the end of the year, I'll be entirely office based. And uh, revenues have sort of last year doubled, but on track to sort of almost triple by this year. So, so yeah, pretty good by all accounts. Yeah, beautiful. Now that's fantastic. And I guess just to give Matty um, some props, and and he he does a hell of a lot more than a program and a couple of calls uh, for his <laughs> people. But uh, I guess just to um, put it in a, its colloquial terms, obviously Dom's just referring to that. Um, you know the simplicity of what you can offer for those sort of price points as long as you're doing a good job and, and how you deliver it and Matt's doing obviously uh, some fantastic things uh, as are you mate so I guess first and foremost hats off uh, on your growth on your journey I know you mentioned that you were a face-to-face -face trainer you had like 10 trainers underneath you at some stage or something like that is that yeah. right yeah but so I, I set up uh, in 2008 and by about 2010 just solely using AdWords uh, I'd scaled and I could get new leads in quite easily too many for me so I, I started taking on other trainers but the pro problem with AdWords was in London there are only a certain amount of people searching at any one time so my 
it doesn't matter how much budget I put into AdWords, I couldn't get more than 10 new clients in each month. And eventually, as you grow, you lose 10 clients each month. And so you reach that plateau point. And, and so I couldn't really scale. Like I was earning a lot, paying out quite a chunk of that to wages for trainers. But it was just not really knowing other avenues to go beyond that to actually scale, basically. Yep, yep, cool. And so it was, you know, it sounded complicated, sounded fairly low profit. Um, and is that what kind of made you go, no, nah, something's got to change? Well, that, yeah, that was quite a while. I, I've had several different businesses <laughs> since then. I set up a couple of other different personal training models, like one where I tried to, well, that's how I met Matt, actually. So I, I thought, if I drop the cost half price and find trainers that aren't yet fully qualified, so they're still training, and I pay them half the price. And, uh, and, then, uh, and so Matt actually applied, and, and I gave him a job. So he worked for me for a few years. Then we set up another company, Wireless Fitness. And, yeah, so like I said, we tried lots of things. <laughs> none, of them, none of them worked like this, basically. There you go. And I guess, as you said, um, you saw Matt kind of overtaking and, and doing some big things, and you thought, oh, I've, I've, I've got to pull the trigger on that. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, um, awesome. Appreciate that. And it's, it's good to hear, I guess the journey, everyone has their own sort of path and, 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 and how they find their, what they're doing. So I guess in the here and the now, um, what is your, what does your day look like in comparison to when you're a face to face trainer? So I don't do 6am sessions anymore, which is a dream. Uh, I get up, and go straight to the gym so i'll meet matt we'll hit the gym at seven o'clock uh come down we get to the office at about half eight and sort of take a bit of time to set up and then then plow through the office mainly so at the moment i've got like uh, i do about five hours a week with clients so they're a couple of evenings a week still getting in the way uh but the big difference actually and this has been i don't know what i would have done otherwise is uh my daughter now has started nursery and i collect her from nursery three nights a week and if i hadn't if i didn't have this income that isn't related to being out with clients at specific times i don't know what i would have done actually because I, I certainly wouldn't have been able to to go and collect her from nursery because i'm I, my when i was a pt full-time literally my days were chock a block back to back with clients yeah. and I was on my scooter going around London. So yeah, it's just, I've got a lot, much, lot more control over my time, basically. Uh, some days like today, I get up really early for things like our coaching call and, and stuff. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the time it's just my, my work window hours wise. So I've mentioned revenues look like they'll be three times as much as I was previously. My window, I used to work 80 hours a week and now that's gone down to about 60 and I'm hoping that by the end, well, by January, it should be more like 40 hours. So mm -hmm. but then revenue will increase further. So I'm winning basically. Of course, of course, more time, uh, more income coming through. Um, man, that, that's awesome. So I guess in terms of, tips for those who are watching it and are listening in and going god I, I you know i'd love to be down the same path or whatever it might be what if you could speak to yourself i guess two years ago um what sort of advice in hindsight would you give yourself um to fast track um your journey I'd, basically i'd say get a coach that knows what they're doing but that i feel a bit like that's that's it's difficult because I think you can do hit and miss a lot. And uh, which is why I said to Matt when he told me, oh, I'm going to do this thing. It's this much money. I was like, don't be a dick. Like, because Matt had spent loads of money on crap and things like that before. Not just like business coaches, but personal trainers as well. I'm like, you are a personal trainer. But if you can find someone that knows the system, uh, who's done what you're trying to do so you can literally emulate it and then put it together in a platform. It's just quick. Like it took it, as anybody on tribe fit who follows the system does it in no time, pretty much, you, you know, within about if you're smart and you work hard within about a month, you can start making loads more money than you were before. So go get a coach would be my advice. Good, good, good. And guys, that wasn't a, that wasn't me. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a soft plug. Um, but look, but, it, it, 
it's it's that, it's smart. Success leaves clues. I, I hear what you're saying. Like I really, I spend a lot of my time. No, no, I don't. I don't. But regularly, I think, damn man, if I'd have done this when I was like young, like some of the guys that are coming onto the course now, I'd be killing it. And uh, I sort of, I think, I, I wish I had this back then. But you know, it doesn't matter. You have got a journey. Exactly right. And hindsight's a a beautiful thing. Well, I guess other than that, is there any other traps or pitfalls that you've kind of um, tripped over yourself that, um, you know, or any advice you could give to anyone of things to avoid or, or whatnot that, that may, uh, you know, looking back, um, yeah. may have slowed down the progress? Well, so in general, I think along, I spent many years spreading myself too thin, trying to do too many things. I think focusing down has been central to my success. And as with, I mean, with your online stuff, sort of deciding who your target audience is makes a big difference, right? And, and when I was trying to sell my previous online program, uh, I didn't have an audience. I was just trying to fire ads anywhere. And I think that's probably it because you can't write the, the language towards them. So, so that's probably what, one aspect of it. The other, I don't know. I, I think what I've found is my... Big or, or big things that I've thought, oh crap! I don't know what's going on here. Is what is when scaling adverts uh, suddenly getting tons of calls, but like people not answering in America, for example. And one of the things that you said was a simple thing: get a Skype US number, right? Okay, and that literally transferred from nobody answering the phone to like I don't know what percentage, but a lot of people answering the phone. Uh, and it's just occasionally things will bomb, and it's been nice actually to have. Uh, uh, just somebody to quickly say that this is happening. Why is it happening? Uh, and then you get an answer, and it solves your problem. And I think so. Yeah, there there are pitfalls that you can go into with ads, I guess, and do lots of stuff wrong. So it's useful to have the tutorials, but then also to just say, like, am I missing something? This this is not working or whatever. So that that's been quite useful. But, uh, cool, cool. Okay, mate. Well, I guess um, look. We've probably gone through the majority of stuff, uh, your journey from, you know, where you were to where you are now. Um, obviously, you know, working hard, um, keeping focus, narrowing down uh, on the focus, the niche who you help and, and obviously keeping, you know, focus on the sort of big levers that actually um, generate clients and, 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 and help deliver those clients. So I guess um, to wrap up, buddy, uh, for, well, first and foremost, I appreciate your time uh, and obviously getting up early, as you mentioned. Um, to, to wrap up, do you have, any you know words of wisdom you probably already said them all but any words of wisdom for anyone that's either you know beginning or wanting to be to 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 start online or alternatively um they're, they're just you know struggling because they can't grow or get any consistency i think the bottom line is you to do it to do the testing and the trialing that you need to do on your own takes so much time so if you can find somebody that already has done it and knows what the answers are it's a lot quicker for somebody to just say, do this. Uh, and you know, we, we, me and Matt are asking you, oh, what if we try this? What if we try that? And you're like, we've tried it. We've tried that and it, this is the way. And so it saves so much time if you can just get the answers where someone else has already done the testing, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, we've made, we've made all the mistakes. So it's, uh, if, if we can help and save you from making the same painful mistakes, then you're only going to get there faster. So that, that makes total sense. And tucking behind someone that's actually done it. Um, yeah. That makes total sense. I've absolutely loved your, um, your trying to do Matt's voice. <laughs> and I'm sure when he watches this back, he's going to say, I don't sound like that, but uh, it, it made it um, absolute, almost sounds identical to, to, to what he sounds like. But uh, mate, that's it. Um, that's it from our session, our call. Guys, if you are, you know, if anything's resonated, if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me from this session. Uh, feel free to, to reach out to Dom. He, he's an absolute legend. I'm sure, you know, as long as you don't hog his time too much, um, he's always there and, and, and happy to help as well. So I guess first and foremost, uh, all to, to finish up, thanks for your time again, Dom. Uh, you're a legend. Keep on crushing. I know you're onto a record month this month and we're going to make sure you, you hit that and keep going from there. So um, thanks for your time, buddy, and we'll speak soon. Pleasure. You're welcome.